What is going on everybody? This is Trader Josh and I'm here today to talk to you guys about how I use TradingView to track all markets. You know, you like how I did that now, don't you? Alright now, but before I get started with this video, I want to let you guys know that God loves you all. Yes, he does. God loves you and you. And all you other people listening, God loves you too. And God just wants you to love yourself, damn it. Okay? But without no further ado, I want to get right started in this video because I know that you guys don't know that this is my 12th time doing this video at at least 10 minutes each time. Okay? But I'm here to do it right this time, okay? And with that being said, you guys, let's get right into it, okay? So I know a lot of a lot of people might be using this one right here to type in the ticker symbol, but I'm going to show you guys real quick the the quick way I like to do things on here. I'll go here products, super charts, and boom. Right when I click on that super charts, it takes me to the last thing. Oh, there we go. It takes me to the last ticker symbol that I was looking at. Okay? So, last ticker symbol I was looking at was Tesla. But I'm going to go to TMC, okay, because Nerf Yamcha, hope I got your name right, man. I hope I did. Nerf Yamcha, you were talking about this one in the Discord, and I wanted to make sure that this was the one that I was able to do my trading view video with, okay? So let me get rid of all these lines real quick. All right, I'll leave that one. Okay, so when you get on here first, you you should see just a regular a regular chart that looks something like so something like this and for myself I always add the watermarks in just because it adds you know a little more it don't make it look blank you know it don't make everything look dumb and also cuz my dad told me you know he thought I should leave this on here shout out to you dad options prospect Link to his YouTube channel in the bio. He's getting it started. Go over there and show some support, man. Show some love. He's in the Discord, too. All right. But with no further ado, let's get to the first indicator. And what does it do to help you? That first indicator is going to be the linear regression channel. Once you type line, it should pop up. Linear regression. Boom. Once you click on it, here it is. So it shows us that we are in a upward trend. And I promise you guys, I promise you guys, just like riding a bike and just like, you know, brushing your teeth, just like, you know, anything, walking the dog, practice makes perfect. OK, so within time, you will be able to read these linear regressions and you will be able to tell what you think it may be doing next. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I think is going to happen on Monday with this stock. And again, this is the first day that I've looked at TMC. I just heard about this stock. I want to say an hour ago, an hour ago, this stock first ever in the world, you know, reached my mind. Okay. And never heard of it before. So thought it'd be a good one to use to show you guys, look, these things really work. And, they really will help you if you let them. Okay, so look, linear regression is going up. But you see we're moving sideways. So I, I could see I could say right now, I'm gonna just go ahead and put a few a few guesses in right here. Or or not guesses, but you know, really are guesses. Because that's what everybody does in the market, you know, nobody knows exactly what's gonna happen, not even I. But we can get damn close to figuring out. Okay. So right here, I have made what I like to call my future estimate. Now, I don't like to call it that. I just made that up as I went. But what I like to do is I always watch. Okay. So where did it start to break off? I would leave these up and I would say, okay, so there's either... It looks like there's either two things we could do here. And 
This is without my next indicator that I'm going to show you. With the next indicator, it will show you a lot more to it, okay? But while we're looking at only this, let me show you how you could read this. So, we popped up. And honestly, we could say every time we touch the top of the linear regression, we might visit the bottom. So we could test it right here in this range just because if we pull anywhere under this linear regression, it would turn into a downward linear regression. And we do not normally see that before we see a sideways linear regression. We don't see it upward trend turn into a downward trend you know right away you know just every day you know but what does happen more more often is an upward trend would turn into a sideways trend before a downward trend at least from what i've seen okay i could be wrong you know the market moves how it wants to move okay but if we can figure out you know if we can figure out what's the th what's the closest we can get to you know Figuring out what's going to happen next, then that's what that's what we're here to do. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this linear regression. Let me just give a quick recap over what it is, what it does. Linear regression is an indicator that shows you the, the trend that the stock is in at the moment. And if it's in an upward trend, you can see. And I also I don't know. If these red and blue lines mean what I'm about to say, but I like to use them as blue is in the money, red is in the, and you know, you're in the, the red, you know, basically. Well, with that being said, if you buy right here and it's in the red up here, you're still in the green. Okay. That doesn't mean you're negative. But what I mean by that is if you're in the red and you, and you pull under, and you, and you start, you know, even if you're moving up, well, that now that linear regression channel is going to change from that into a lot, you know, less steep. It's, it's not going to be as steep. And this will turn into the top of the linear regression channel. So, but it is still moving up healthy if it would, if it was to do that. And that's not a bad thing. Oh, crap. I don't know what that lock does. Um, I don't know. Um, let me see. Okay, and also, I'm going to go ahead and put this here. If you want to put any lines, just random lines, you go over here to the right. And I say random lines because they're lines that we put up. Okay, so they're just random. But when you go in the in the history and you look okay we've tested these same level a lot of times so we can really i'm not saying that this is strong support only off of this because i would like to see a lot more history of it of it staying on this line you know of it keeping close to it or at least trying to which i'm not going to go back that far just to look but this is a dollar. So I would already have a line on my dollar mark, especially if it's a penny stock, because that would just let me know, hey, normally for all my penny stocks, I like to put a line on the dollar if we are not compliant with NASDAQ. That way I know, hey, we still need to meet that dollar, you know, and I really might just start doing that with all everything because everything needs to be above a dollar, really, or it's not good basically but with tmc okay so we got the trend we got the trend down we got the upward linear regression i want to show you guys my personal favorite well no i like them both the same honestly type in em8 i mean ema8 and it should be the first one. If not, find these numbers, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, and 233. Click on it, just like you did the linear regression. And when you see all these colorful lines right here, you want to come over here to the settings key. Take off your 8, 
21, 55, 89, 144, and your 233. Only keeping your 13 and 34 showing. Now you want to go here to your 13. Make it green. Make it as bright as you can. Make it as thin as you can. Go out of that one. Now go to this one. The EMA 34. Make it as make it red as bright as you can and as thin as you can. Press OK. Now with that, now look at how much more the chart has on it. And I'm going to show you guys how you can read these EMA lines. Okay, but I was looking at this earlier and this one isn't really a good one to read because we don't have much history, I guess is the right word for it. But I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, and I have this circled right here just because it marks a time where the trend started, just started to get out of its, or where the EMA lines just started to separate. And right when you see it hop, you, let's follow this line for a minute. We, we stay in the green. Right when you see it go start to split up at the bottom, follow it until it's until it starts to split up at the end. And now me, I would say that's a buy and this would be a sell. Just off of those EMA lines. And that's 66 cents all the way up to a dollar and ten cents, basically. So 60 to a dollar ten, that's 90 cent. 90% profits just off looking at these EMA lines. Okay. I just found out about this stock. Okay. And also you don't know that it's going to do that exact move right there. You did not, we did not know, but what we did know is that these EMA lines were staying healthy all the way. And they even had a little angle to them going up and the 34, the red, you, you kind of want the red to follow the green, but you don't want it to overlap the green because we're not seeing any of that yet, which really is a good indicator. But what we are seeing is not much like it's moving very nicely, but it's really not giving you much to look at just off of this right here. See, if that could have been more spread out and more like wavy, I would say, then that would make me that would make me say, well, now we got more evidence to look off of. But this is going all the way back to April, you know, like of just sideways. So honestly, what I could say just off looking at that history alone and Monday is going to show you all a lot because I'm talking about this one. Monday, you all are going to see more about it. But let's go ahead and look right here. So our EMA 13 is above the 34. So we, we already know that that's a good sign. But sometimes history is a lot more powerful. And okay, wait a minute. Look at that. Tap. Tap, boom, boom, resistance. Okay, where did that go to? That went to 161. And where did it go from? 86 to 161. That's almost, that's 90% gain right there. 90%, 90%. Okay, so, and that's real weird. I cannot believe that. Okay. I'm definitely going to look into this one, but with that history, I'm going to let you guys know more than likely we, we very well could be pulling down Monday back to this dollar 22 cent range. And uh, we could even move just like this. And if we did, that wouldn't be a bad thing. You guys, it, let me get this. That wouldn't be a bad thing, okay, because we wouldn't be in a downward trend. We wouldn't be negative. Negative meaning 
basically moving downwards. But what we would be doing is moving sideways and waiting to get some confirmation that we're about to go either one way or the other. Okay, because one thing I know, and I could be wrong, but one thing I have seen a lot of times is when these trends are in certain, when these trends are going certain ways, they don't just, now unless there's some real issues inside the company, you know, like Molin Automotive, you know, we'll say, very volatile. I should have looked at that. Nah. Or you know what? I will look at that in a minute because I know I could read that thing like the back of my hand. But I was saying I could be wrong, but I have not seen much times where an upward linear regression channel just turns straight into a downward. Okay, that I just haven't. And like I said, it could be wrong, but I have not seen much of that. Let's look at Molin. See what we can. Oh, man. I clicked the wrong one. Uh, Molin. All right. Down, down, down. This is some crazy stuff. I cannot believe all the things that happened to this. What? Oh, man. <clears throat> and one thing I do want to point out, though, while I'm here, let's just go up. Because I did see they had crazy numbers. I'm going to let you guys know. Molin Automotive was never $403. They've had more than 50 reverse splits in the last 12 minutes, guys. That's what's putting their price up there. That $0.20 cents a share at Put together with 12 reverse splits equals that 403 that you just saw. Okay, they have never been there and they honestly never will be there. Okay, if you want to play short on this one, you are a smart person. If you're a long term, may the good Lord be with you. You know, I hope, you know, good things for your family and everyone with you. Now let's look. Just last year, around the same time, Mullen was right here. Look at the red above. The whole time, the red is above the green. The whole time, look, all the way from the top. All the way. Crossed over. I wouldn't even, after a drop like this, I wouldn't even see a cross like that. Or a cross like that. None of these crossings would indicate a buy to me because look at this history. Just look at the drop, the consistent, look at the consistency of this drop. And it never, it has never popped back up. Look, even $4 is that high. $5 is that high. And let's see. March 9th. Must have been during the reverse split. I don't know what's going on with David Mitry. But, man, I don't want to waste too much of your guys' time here talking about this gibberish Molin automotive. Let's give it a. Um, um, Bam. All right. Well, honestly, I want to watch this stock into tomorrow. I'm glad that Nerf, you mentioned it because like you said, it is looking very, it's looking pretty interesting. Okay. And I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it because like you saw on that Molin, the line was above it the whole way down. Look how much this one is going the whole way up. So that's something to watch. But like I said, we also have that chance of sticking right here in this area and just starting that way. Starting that way until we figure out whether we're going to go one way or the other. And, and nothing is forever. Okay. 
If we go down, we're going to go down. If we go up, we're going to go up. Either way, there's going to be money to be made on everything. Okay, learn how to play it right. Always do your due diligence. And until then, you guys, let me know. Also, let me know if you think I left anything out. Let me know if you think anything I said was helpful for you. Let me know if I did answer any questions you might have had. I kind of wanted to show you guys the indicators. And everything I showed you is all that I do. Let me show you. When I open my trading view, this is all I do. I, I don't explore. I go straight to products, super charts, you know, no playing around. Straight to the business, get my work done, and then I cancel it out. Okay, you guys, this is Trader Josh, and I have been having a great time. <laughs> Not my with you guys. Anybody have no great time, man? No, but no, but on. On the other hand, no, this is Trader Josh. I'm tired of shit, man. I did this video 12 times. Probably about two hours worth of videoing right here. But I still love you guys. Let me know if this video was helpful. Until then, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Trader Josh is out of here.